Anti-natalism, as you see here, you know. <clears throat> Basically, you know, you're against uh, childbirth, um, reproduction. And it says here, uh, anti-natalism, uh, with a, I mean, with a, a space, right? Uh, is the ethical view that negative values procreation. Anti-natalists argue that humans should abstain from procreation because it is morally wrong. I mean, what is it like to give a, a, a life to a human being, bring it to this world? You know, I, I'm not a point. Uh, it's a philosophical debate. You know, it really is. Because do I have, when I meet the right uh, girl, uh, just a, a, fe a girl, a female, a woman, right, that I'm attracted to, do I think about, I mean, maybe we we could have a family? Of course. Yeah, it's, it's not just a fantasy, it's a reality. It's scary, though. Just her uh, nine months pregnancy, right? You know, having uh, the child, be very careful. And then, you know, obviously you go to, for checkup tests, you... you uh, massages help her, you know, uh, soothe the, the soreness, um, little to no exercise, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things, there's books on that, and then, you know, you, you try to read, or you just have instincts how to be a better father or mother, and, you know, there's that, but there's also, you know, uh, the, the thing, look at the world uh, around us, you know, there's just so much that uh, uh, having a child that will and not be happy or get hurt, you know, it, it, uh, it, it would hurt me, you know, it really would, and, you know, there's just so many things in life, I mean, I always point out the obvious, let's say my, my kid went to school, and got harassed or something, and it was like trouble, I experienced that same thing, or certain to the same degree, with my ex-girlfriend, Cynthia, you know, you know, she said, like, hey, there was people that took uh, the pictures of her kids, and they sent it to her, and also, you know, uh, that one kid, you know, he wasn't, like, the nicest kid. He was quite reserved. I had an opinion about him. But he got, like, jumped by somebody or something like that. You know, and, and the girl, she might have not, you know, said she had any problems. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, even if it's not your kid, you get attached. And, and you feel for it, though. You know, there's that. That's a big part of it, because... Uh, it just it, it stresses you and you worry you worry a lot but it, you know I don't want to be the you know I'm not saying I'm being selfish right now because it's my what I want to feel this and that I'm just protected I want to protect somebody you know that's what that is and I, I, there was a religious person I believe it's religious that she said well you know uh, well, those people that you know give uh, bring souls into the world. Yeah, that's what she said. I started thinking, you know. All right, so where do the souls come from? Are they just made up from nowhere, or do you believe in uh, I don't know, for lack of a better word, uh, recycle, but but you know, a reincarnation or something like that, or they just you know uh, they come from uh, from somewhere, right? So you just want souls to come over here for what? You know, and yeah, there was a, there was a religious people that pointed me out that, you know, uh, the Christianity, at least, uh, uh, Catholicism, the main, their God says, you know, give birth, birth, birth to kids. So that's one of the agendas. I mean, that's a biological uh, reproductive state that we're in. You know, at certain points, a natural instinct, especially during uh, intercourse, Hetero, heterosexual intercourse so you know uh, the way we're even set up our bodies are set up to to uh, you know procreate but what would that do in the larger scheme of things for you me not not our offspring you know because let's say uh, you don't have an offspring um I get it that maybe, you know, you didn't have that relationship with, with a child that, you know, you, you're raising a child and they're cute, this and that. 
But look at let's look at the the, the grander scheme of, of Earth, the world, right? And our species, because our species have to survive. Is that what it is? That's and you know I remember I remember this guy uh, named uh, Gary. Do not guard in Mendel. You know that's he used to say that's the name of the game. It's a big biological game, reproduction, to for our species to survive basically. You know we're not the only ones. Uh, lower sentient beings, cats, dogs, uh, mice, you name it, they all have that, uh, that built in them, you know, but, I mean, let's just, let's just face it though, I mean, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the, the fact that we have condoms prohibits that, is it really immoral not to, uh, I don't want to say ejaculate, but uh, ejaculate a cum inside a female or whatever, and uh, you know, uh, uh, have a condom on, and I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a big condom person, but not to reproduce, because that's, you know, what the Catholic Church once said, that it's immoral to wear condoms, you know, religious people, people that are men of, of God, right, of a higher, uh, uh, a entity, a, a deity, say that it's immoral to have sex with, without, you know, a condom. I'm not just point to obvious how if you watch the, uh, you watch the last video on my channel about molestations in the Catholic Church, right? That's not immoral to molest children, right? How is a person that takes theology becomes a priest even touch uh, or looks at a child uh, sexually and disrupts the the whole fabric of their life? And I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna uh, sidetrack for the argument that I will not listen to. Uh, 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 people that even allow uh, those individuals enter their uh, enterprise, you know, their their church group, uh, not church group, but their institution, that they're like that. You know, they can't figure out who is, who isn't. A pedophile, a molester, you know. And, and what about those people that are the molesters and they, they think they're, they're men of God? You're not. They're not. It's, it's it, it, I mean, it's absolutely a sham. It's, it's a disgrace. That's what that is. And you know what? That's like a, a side argument or like a, a, a blimp in the, in, the, in the whole essay, if you're writing a, you know, maybe just one of the words, you know, because uh, in the greater scheme of things, you know, I, I think that the world, it would be better, but the fact that we, uh, people birth children is, it's not going to help anything. Look at the state that the world is right now. There's people talking about there might be World War Three. Now I don't know if that's true or not. You know, I, I am angry, and I said, you know, I, I think the world is just, you know, in a bad place. But do you think your 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 children, even if, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna uh, put the World War Three in the argument, but it's 2022, and there's people that make weapons that could destroy the whole world, and you're being said just procreate. You know, um, I'm not going to get into the personal reason about Gary and, you know, his atheism and uh, Bridgewater comments. I don't care about that anymore. I think I did make a video about that. And it's about the, uh, what do you get? And, you know, there's a lot of people that don't even like their children, that don't know what they're doing with their children. I think they think it's a burden. And there are a few that actually have children, and you know they see them for what they are. They try, they try to the best this and that. They spend time with them, right? That's one argument, you know. Like, why are you even? Uh, why can't you just get contraceptive? If you don't want to be a parent, don't, you know? Because you know you're not gonna do a good job. You're not. You don't even care. You have no uh, care in you whatsoever. Yeah, but I, I mean, I I never really got into anti-natalism, uh, uh, to my knowledge. I was always, you know, uh, I, I never, uh, you know, um, got into so much information uh, growing up. You know, I don't think we discussed that. Maybe I heard it once or twice. I don't know if I understood it or not. That guy Gary introduced me to it, at least, you know, on Stickle, you know. Like, uh, and, you know, he, he, he didn't get into it that much. Even though I asked him, he got angry over that. Not just me, but a lot of people. But you know what, Eddie? 
there's people out there like that. There's people out there like that that, you know, believe in that philosophy. And for some reason, I think I heard those 1%. I, I doubt it. I don't know. I think there's more than that. I think there's more than that. Maybe, we, you know, we're just not too conscious about it, you know? Because the, 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 the word antinatalism, I heard it a lot of times on the internet chat rooms, you know? But then it just, you know, I, I the chat rooms I go into, they probably they don't even talk about it, you know? It was that one particular room and maybe in another room. But, you know, there are a few uh, of us. I don't know if, if, if Gary said it. I think he said it well. In the large scheme of things, or at least I understood it, you know. Let's say, it, it, from a logical standpoint, let's say you have a child. Well, you obviously go to work, this and that. You're going to spend time with them. You know, you, you got to devote your life to that instead of fixing world problems. But let's just be honest about that. I mean, how many people would, um, would a child get in the way of solving the world's problems? Is that going to fix everything? That's not going to fix anything. I bu- kind of believe that, too. I started repeat. I started saying that, too. I don't know if he said it. But you know what? It's not even about that. It is. Personally, for me, I just, you know, I I would protect uh, my child uh, very much. You know, I really would. Uh, I always said that, you know, I, I'd be worried if, if the child, uh, you know, the kid eventually grew up or maybe experimented drugs or just had a, you know, um, had a, a alcoholic problem or something like that. You know, and I say it's a coping mechanism, but well, let's say I'm not close with my child as well, you know, because I'm still over, you know, is it nature or nurture argument, you know? And a lot of times it's, uh, I think it's nature, you know, especially with my life, you know, and especially the way the world is looking right now, because there's a lot of uh, things that people just uh, don't have a soul, sold their soul. And they just don't care about anything, especially their children. I do, right? And I'm the type of person that, not that I was sacrificed. Uh, uh, I can't even have a you know demeaning for relationship with someone because I'm scared people are gonna do something to her. And if someone tries to do something to me, like if people try to threaten me, you know, I'm, I've been through it before. I get it. You hate me. Well, let's say I care for somebody. I just you know I don't know. Just I'm gonna watch them 24 seven. Am I gonna call Roy Police Department and stuff? Yeah, they they send me, uh, you know, they gave me, they say, oh, fill out this form, right? I I know what, what those people are. I don't trust those people. I don't trust the police department. And it's not like I live in a certain neighborhood, this and that. It was never really like that. So I had, uh, you know, my personal uh uh encounter with them, and I saw what for what them what they really are. I really did. Yeah, including most of my relatives. You know, but that whole antinatalism, I mean, what if my child came out like those rolling cops? Or, uh, you know, uh, one of my parents and cousins and all that, you know. Because the relatives I had, you know, it's, uh, we shared memories, but a lot of them were just not that good. They were not good at all. You know, and to have this life that I have, I mean, uh, you know, I... I have I have emotional pain and damage, and I'm trying to you know not get angry, not get mad, not make angry videos, this and that. But it's really hard. It's really hard. It was really tough. You know, I said it before, this is not when I started out the first YouTube channel as well. You know, it was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this and that will happen in my life, but you know, it's hard to see positivity positivity sometimes. It really is. You know. Uh, the world uh, uh, has changed, and I, th- I don't know if it changed after World War II or something like that. I don't know if it was way, way different. And, and I'm talking about technology as people are concerned, you know. I said uh, technology uh, does, uh, you know, th- uh, stunt us to a level, digresses us as far as physically, but that's not everything, you know. Because we have the best technology, and, and the people that are good in, in nature, conscientious, you know, uh, yeah, uh, right, have uh, an offspring, this and that, but this is about something different, you know. This is about people that will never nurture their child, will never care. They'll end up in the hospital, uh, they'll get hurt, uh, you know, they, they, they will tell them, you're going to prison, that's how you're going to end up. Even some stuff you didn't even do, you don't deserve even going to jail. Yeah, I mean, first, I mean, let's fix that. Let's fix that, and let's then debate who should or shouldn't have children. Yeah, you know, I always thought that 
and psychological tests. This is not no New World Order stuff. Uh, United States, it seems like a dystopia. We're being uh, controlled, manipulated by media, this and all that. Uh, uh, on all different levels. All different levels. Uh, you know, and, you know, to... For everyone to just procreate and just have a child, it is very barbaric. Very, very barbaric. You know, I could go on a, a website right now, uh, Motherless. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll meet somebody. Maybe I could, I could join uh, a sex site or a dating site. I'll meet a girl and I'm pregnant. Her. Now we have a child. You know, it shouldn't be like that. I mean, people should be more uh, reserved, conscientious, and, you know, who they spend their time with. But even me, I was with someone that, geez, I mean, I, I don't know, I shouldn't have, I, if I got a pregnant and she said it, then I was just scared, you know, not because of the child, that too, but because of what she was, who she was, you know, so I understand that. But as far as, you know, um, I don't have all the answers, just I understand natalism, I understand where it's coming from. I don't know if it's morally wrong per se, right, but I think people are just morally wrong per se. And they have children. Yeah. And, you know, there's people that are just morally corrupt, this and that, and they have their children, but their child grows up, they have their experiences, and they have the, uh, the logic and, and the reasoning, and they'll be a certain way. Well, they feel kind of emotional pain that they come from a broken home or something like that. Definitely, right? Unless they grow from it and they realize, you know, they're like that, this and that. Yeah. So that's another thing. But... You know, there's there's plenty of, of parents that just, you know, they don't want the child. But the other person wants to be like, you know, they don't even want it. I, uh, I know, uh, there's people in my, in my, uh, I always say relatives, but my family, right? They don't even have children. They don't. It's probably for the best or something like that. You know, it really is. You know, it really is. And there's others that, you know, maybe have like one kid or something, but I don't, I don't talk to them. I don't know how they are. We're not in the best of terms. They seem fairly intelligent, but honestly, right now, the way it's going, it's, it's, I'm talking about my relatives. The way intelligence works, and I found out from people, and I start remembering and seeing stuff. You know, they, they might hear something, they might repeat it, and a lot of times they don't talk to me, so honestly, I can't size them up. They don't even want to. But you know what, the thing is, maybe there should be a psychological test on males and females. Who has the right to have a child? You know, it's that phrase of music, illegal life. Except sometimes, you know, illegal life, maybe like I shouldn't have been born. Because people told me in my family that my parents, you know, uh, they fell, and that means, you know, they just had sex and my mom got pregnant. My cousin told me that. Actually, I think she was the only one that told me that. Yeah. But, you know, here I am. You know. And, you know, I, I don't know if my mom wanted me or not. Probably not. Because I, my, my earliest of marriage was her. She, she was very angry. She was too young. I mean, I she was just a kid. You know, she didn't, I don't think she ever wanted a child. You know, she really didn't. At least to my knowledge. But... Uh, would I let my parents I could go back have a child if I sue them if I knew them right now probably not probably not but then you know how can, I, how can you tell what kind of offspring they will give you know because there's a genius born somewhere and like I said you know not that they're commoners peasants or something but they didn't have formal education maybe they have something else a logic I don't even know how that works and the child grows up and he can do this this and that he can learn he'd be just fine <clears throat> So, you know, uh, you have, we have over, I think, 7 billion people on this planet. Yeah. How many of them get along, have a conversation uh, without talking bad of one another, without lying about the other person as well? It's really that simple. Or just tell the truth. Or keep their mouth shut and just go about the way. Yeah. There's a lot of suffering in this world here, too. You know, and the animals, yeah, you might get uh, bit by a shark. But human being is the most dangerous uh, sentient being on the planet, uh, statistically speaking. 